Hey guys, Grim Gorgeist here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Reborn. Last time we did some side quests. We wrapped up the Clef Key side quest in particular. We got some lore about Elias, and today uh, we're gonna do some more miscellaneous stuff, some more side quests. You know how it is. For this first thing, we actually want to have some soul candles. So I wanted to, I wanted to remind you all that we can buy those here. Let's just buy like a bunch. I don't care. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I had to change it to nighttime real quick. If you bring some soul candles to the cemetery in Barrel Ward, then you can trigger a special event. Uh, let's just go for it. The pumpkin begins to glow. As far as I'm aware, this is the only way you can encounter Pumpkaboo. So that's... special. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, particularly interested in using Pumpkaboo or Gorgeist, but it's here, and this is one of the Pokemon we need for our Pokedex. It's also a, a special event. Um, I know earlier in the game, you're a lot more limited in what... Uh, or you're more limited in, like, how many Soul Candles you get. I think we only had one in the first place. So, I wouldn't suggest doing this until later, once you can buy more, uh, buy more Soul Candles. I was reading that apparently the size of the Pumpkaboo changes depending on which pumpkin you talk to. Uh, I don't see any kind of... <laughs> okay, I don't see any kind of a visual indication for how big this Pumpkaboo is. Um, I don't know if there's any way you can check it, but I do know that um, I think the size of the Pumpkaboo and the size of the Gorgeist changes like their HP stat or something. So I just wanted to try a couple of these. Skill Link Punkaboo. We got a critical capture there and it didn't work. Two critical captures in a row. Dang. Yeah, I don't see any kind of uh, indication for how big they are. Maybe we, look, we can look at their HP stats. I mean, yeah, there's some variance there. 41 to 51. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so this... This Pumpkaboo is clearly bigger, because they have similar HP IVs, but this one has more HP. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I guess we'll evolve this one. Okay, so I actually forgot the way you evolve Pumpkaboo is through trading. So there we go, I can take the XP share off of him. <laughs> Next up, there is one last puzzle we can do here in the circus, at least as far as I'm aware, there's only one left. Uh, not you. I actually don't remember exactly who it is. I think you had, like, the dive HM, right? No, okay, so this is the one we need to do. Alright. <laughs> oh boy. At least in this one, you can't, like, turn them. Uh, oh jeez. Alright, I'll give it a shot on my own. I'll, I'll see what I can do without looking anything up. I've been here for like 10 minutes. These sliding puzzles are an affront to humanity. If elected president, I will make them illegal. I really, I'm really, really over these puzzles. <laughs> this is like what, our, our, our fifth one? There was the Froki one for Dive. There was uh, the, the Arkin one, the, the Turtle one, <laughs> besides this one. It's just been a lot. Too much for one lifetime. The one for Timber, too, right? Okay, so I found a WikiHow article on how to solve sliding puzzles. And, like, I, I don't know what I was looking for. I was thinking maybe I'd get, like, just some general tips, like some, some patterns you can follow. This article is so long. It just keeps going. So even if you try to look up how to do sliding puzzles, it's not that helpful, because it just keeps going. I'm so close. I'm so close. You guys, I fucking did it. This took like 30 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> I made it to the end of Pokemon Reborn without ever actually learning how to do the sliding puzzles. God bless. 
and your prize is a Turtwig, which we already have access to. <laughs> yeah, so that was actually not necessary for me to do since we already had Turtwig as our starter. Uh, but if you did not choose Turtwig as your starter, then that is the only way you can get him. So there we go. Uh, oh, Superpower. That's pretty cool. I think that's an egg move. Huh. That's pretty cool. Next up, my notes just say Slum and Gum Key. These, these notes were taken months ago, and even back then I probably didn't have full context for what I was writing. Uh, I think I noted that there was an interesting looking NPC, which I think is this person. Excuse me, do you have a moment to spare for the sake of this beautiful planet? Okay, so uh, one of the restoration projects that you can do after beating uh, gym leaders 14 through 16, I guess, is um, you can restore the slums. So that's the area we're in right now. Thank you for caring about the world we live in. The truth is, despite every single one of us being dependent on this planet, many people just don't give it the time of day. Reborn has definitely come a long way, but the thoughtlessness that led to its decline before is still active and well. Every day the environment is harmed further. Many innocent sweet Pokemon are losing their homes. Did you know that every year over 10,000 Wingle are caught in landfills that aren't properly contained? And every month, there are thousands of water Pokemon in seas all across the world dying because of underwater pollution. My goal is to change that. Your support can go a long way to making tomorrow a little brighter. So, would you be willing to sign this petition to make the city board acknowledge the still lingering threat of environmental detractors in Reborn? Is what I'd like to say. <laughs> The truth is, we already got plenty of signatures during the restoration, but the city still hasn't acted appropriately in response. What are they supposed to do? They're just one city. And now everyone's so caught up in how great the city looks now that they're forgetting everything that's slipping through the cracks. To be honest, I'm getting kind of, des kind of desperate here. You can tell I'm still reeling from that fucking Turtwig puzzle. <laughs> I'm thinking about taking matters into my own hands. I'm gonna kill the president of Reborn City. Would you be willing to back me up? Oh, that's okay, I understand. This could get messy anyway. Yeah, you're gonna assassinate somebody, why would I? Oh, hi again. I don't suppose you changed your mind about helping me? Really? Hmm, okay, we can do this. Let's fight for the planet. By the way, my name's Sandy, and you are? Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. So let's talk about our first mission. Oh, so this is a whole thing. <laughs> this restoration has been a huge improvement for the region overall. But there's one part of Reborn that's suffering as a result. Malchus Forest. The deforestation of Malchus has been causing more and more Pokemon to lose their precious homes. I just can't stand by while that happens. Meet me at Malchus Forest and let's put a stop to it. Alright, I was kind of wanting to explore the new slums a little bit. Uh, oh, there are berries here. One lychee berry? Oh, we, we did have access to them after all. They've been sitting here this whole time. We got the, I think it was last episode, we got the department store sticker that gave us access to lychee berries. We'll grab these real quick. Gamlon, Salak. Okay, yeah, these are all the stat berries. I'll take them though. Free real estate. Apricot. Pattaya. Lan Lancet? I don't know what that is, but okay. Oh, hey. I was looking for new encounters here just for fun, and, uh,. I got a shiny hoot hoot. And that's it. We have some construction workers here. Be it, kid, we're working here. Did you need anything? If not, could you let us be? We've got a lot of wood to process here. Shove off. There you are. I got nervous when I saw there were so many of them, but we should be able to handle this, right? What, are we gonna kill them? Come on, deep breath. I can do this. This is for the Pokemon. Let's go. But they're just, they, they just work here, man. On behalf of all the Pokemon living in this forest, I'll punish you. Oh, oh we're doing this. We're actually fighting them. Okay, this seems inappropriate. <laughs> Why do these random construction workers have such strong Pokemon? Okay. Uh, I'll try to get an earthquake. I may as well, right? Nice hydro pump.
bug bite. Yeah, that's what I was kind of afraid of. He ate my Kusta berry! I equipped that just for the sake of it. Uh, well, Wackford's gonna die here anyway. Let's see. Um, we can try setting a Crocker just to see what happens. Yeah, okay. Oh, I just noticed that Farfetch is level 100. Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> why wouldn't he be? Was that Defiant? Who had Defiant? Was that Scizor? Well, it doesn't matter. You're dead. Maybe it was Farfetch'd. <laughs> this Farfetch'd is uh, kind of a threat. Ludicolo. Why do they both have Farfetch'd? Because they're cutting down trees? Is that is that the joke? Uh, My matchup here is not even that good. You know what? I'm going to switch out because the Intimidate... Well, I, I don't even know if Intimidate works on them, if they have Defiant, right? Scald. That's good. Oh, I think... Well, I'm not sure what's causing it, actually. Doesn't Defiant usually activate when you get hit by a Dark-type move? And it raises your attack? I'm not sure. Anyway, we are getting wrecked. I did notice. At least your Pokemon are pretty fast. Or they're all holding Quick Claw. Uh, yeah, we're losing, though. Especially with that quad effective Leaf Blade. I don't want to send in KSR because they have flying time moves. A lot of flying time moves, apparently. If I can take out Halucha, that would be great. Never. Did my Salic Berry get. Oh no, it activated. What the fuck just happened? What is going on? <laughs> is this what I get for turning off animations? He used High Jump Kick on me, and my Salic Berry, he either stole it or it activated? I'm not even sure what happened. And then I tried using Brave Bird on him, and it just didn't work? He protected himself? How is that possible? What just happened? Genuinely, what is going on? The text is moving too fast. I have no idea what's happening. I guess I should have saved. Jesus Christ, it's a good thing I bought a bunch of revives. So I can try and salvage this. Mud still might be good here, because it has a... Uh... Oh, never mind. Intimidate. Defiant sharply raised the far-fetched attack. What? I'm kind of shook right now, not going to lie. Yeah, we're getting completely wrecked. Nice crit. Okay, Farfetch'd is down. <laughs> We're going for it. Oh, I should have attacked Halucha. But I think he resists all my moves. Oh, uh, he wouldn't resist Rock Blast, though. There's still more? Is this a 12v12? Like, actually? This fight is so brutal. What the fuck is going on? Alright, well, uh, I'll be right back, I guess. $30,000. We're gonna try that again. I equipped some Taloric Seeds. I hope that those activate here. Because I think this is the force field. That'll raise our attack, and it'll give us, uh, yeah. It'll give a spiky shield, too. We're gonna try and burn that Scizor ASAP. That's good. Hydro Pump misses this time, okay. Farfetch'd has returned. Let's just see if we can take out Bisharp. Maybe I need to look up what Defiant does, because, uh, clearly I don't know. Leaf Blade. 
why are these farfetched level 100? It seems unnecessary. Taloric Seed. Oh, he also has Taloric Seed. Oh, that's why that happened before. Okay. Well, at least now I know. Yeah, honestly, I want to keep Trixie alive for Intimidates later, but then again, Intimidates are not that helpful here, apparently, so let's just uh, try and take out Halucha. He's the big... I'm a moron. That was a good Scald, though. That's a great Scald. Yeah, so that's why you don't want to keep speed up on all the time, because honestly, uh, you're gonna... You're gonna accidentally... Just, like, not catch something like that. I didn't catch Halucha's Solar Exceed before. I went ahead and set Tailwind, because I think next turn I can hit speed with, uh, with Dino Blade and kill Halucha. That's a fast Seismitoad. Leaf Blade, not good. Maybe, maybe I should have killed Farfetch'd. Although with the crit, uh, well, whatever. Yeah, maybe I should have killed Farfetch'd. It's dead. Okay. I guess I'm faster, so I'll take out this Farfetch now. Before he causes more harm. Nice rock slide. This field effect is helping them <laughs> quite a bit. Mudsdale. Oh, come on. As soon as we send in Mudsdale. This is brutal. Uh, Let's just try and hit... Samurott, right? Samurott's more threatening. Oh, perfect. Wow. That to lurk, he boosted our attack. That might have helped. You know, <laughs> he's far fetched. I wonder if the forest field effect increases the crit chance you get from the stick. That might actually be what's happening. Okay, well, Dino Blade's popping off. That's good. We like that. Yeah, he's getting non-stop crits. What's up with that? Brain stopped, finally. Uh, oh, I think we took out all their flying types. I spoke too soon. Why does this random... Construction worker have a shiny Scyther. This shiny Scyther, by the way, looks like it was based on Cleavor, but that shouldn't be possible because uh, Cleavor was revealed after this episode 18 version came out. Um, yeah, man, if I don't switch, I'm just going to get bopped by Scyther, probably, so... Life Orb Scyther. May as well heal our, our sleep. That was Seed Bomb? Shit. This field effect feels like it's helping them so much. Uh, Tide. Well, Tide is a bad matchup too, honestly. Because of Seed Bomb on Breloom, there's not much I can really do. Yeah. Oh, well. Great. She's out of Pokemon. This is the hardest side quest in the game. No cap. Oh, so Cut becomes a Grass-type move. Okay. This is just fucked, honestly. Taloric Seed. Okay, so this is good. We get a free turn here. 
We could go for a free crunch, honestly. Yeah, let's, uh, oh, no, free curse, that's what I meant to say. Uh, yeah, we're immune to spore, right? We protect ourselves, Scyther kills itself. Very good. Seed bomb. Protected. We get our defense stage from curse. I hope this works. He also has a total work seed, okay. <laughs> you can tell I'm so over it. Um, Earthquake is weakened, I think. I think he resists all my moves, so this is just lovely. Oh, so Earthquake is not weakened by the field, but it, it is resisted. Seed Bomb. That's with, that's with one defense stage, it's not even doing that much. Chaos Heart can do a little bit better now, though. Yeah, I don't see any point in healing, because, like... Well, I guess... Hmm, let's actually heal, because Torterra's going to use Earthquake again. And then we can get more damage on Breloom that way. <laughs> there better not be more fights like this in this side quest chain, or in this one side quest. Alright, we, 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 got, we, we got the 1v1. Let's do it. The most powerful wood hammer. We did it. This is the hardest fight of our entire life. So my shift still doesn't end for another couple hours. Yes, that's one for the future. Oh, that's Adrian. Now I'll go home and rethink your destructive ways. That's them. Those are the ones causing a disturbance. I... Sean? Adrian's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> um... Mix Flores? Ah, this is lucky. I just need a moment of your time to talk about the deforestation of Malchus and other environmental concerns following the city's restoration. And you must be... the reserve ground leader. Oh, okay. Sandy. Who was the first ground leader? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, it was Terra. Oh, so that means Sandy is like a gym leader now, because Terra's gone. I read that you were like this. That's right, but what's important is that you take action to ensure the safety of our world. I've submitted several petitions in due process asking for a reformation of several policies to better the... Yes, yes, I've read them. I understand your concerns, but in each case, it's not as simple as just immediately throwing people at the issue. We'll keep working towards a satisfactory solution, but in the meantime, could I ask you to not accost the city workers? They're just working towards a wage. It's not their decision how much of Malchus is used. And for the record, I understand that most of these trees were generated by the Pulse incident in this area. Our priority has always been to use up that artificially augmented plant life for its resources before cutting into the natural environment. And in any case, the simple fact is that large construction projects will require a lot of wood. If you understand, then I'll ask for your patience in resolving these matters properly. Then, why don't you go ahead and take a break? And Sean, keep an eye on her for me, please. Well, okay. Maybe that was a little hasty, but I'm going to mark that down as a partial success. Now, what to do next? Mmm, I know. Azurine Lake has really cleared up ever since the water treatment center came back online. But the truth is, some of the chemicals used to clean it are actually still harmful to the Pokemon. Thanks to the anonymous source, I was able to acquire an alternate filter to apply to the main head of the treatment center. I don't know if I like that. To I think it will go a long way to protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Maybe at the central part of the water treatment center in the Opal Grid. We'll protect the lake together. Okay, I found her. She's where the Swalot was. You made it. Okay, there shouldn't be any issue here. I brought some tools, so let me just quickly open this up, change out the filter, and we'll be on our way. Just make sure no one is coming, right? This is clearly unauthorized. I don't know why we're still helping this person. Um, Sean? Something's coming out. I'm still holding this filter together. Can you? Uh, is it a gold pen? Oh, <laughs> Pokemon Stoplets. Interesting. Maybe there was actually a reason to come here <laughs> to clean up these gold pens. They're like the Pulse Swallot that was here before. Alright, let's take them out. Oh, he's using Pain Split. 
that's not good. Is he just gonna use paint split the entire time? Is that the is that the meme? Oh, wait, how did I die? <laughs> I, don't, I actually don't know how I died that time. These gulpins are bulky. I guess they're kind of high level. All right, I think I died from toxic before. I'm guessing they're just pure poison, so I'm not gonna go for a pin missile because they uh, they resist that. All right, we are losing to the gulpin squad. <laughs> I would go for Crush Claw more often, but it's it doesn't have 100 accuracy, so I don't go for it. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a strong move, and it doesn't have recoil, so I like it, but the accuracy is lower. We are going even with this squad of Gulpins right now, and I can't even be bothered to try harder. I don't know where the Ampharosite is, by the way. I have no clue. I don't know if I want... A hint as for where it is, because we're kind of just naturally getting all of them anyway, so. We cleared out the gulpins. Phew. Those little guys suddenly appearing really scared me. I wonder where they all came from. So the disturbance that was reported to me, Adrian has appeared, was just you again. Oh, ha ha ha, where did you come from? We were just doing a regular inspection of the center to make sure everything was in proper working order. No problems here, yep. Well, we'll be moving right along. Now, what's that you're holding? W what this old thing? It's just a uh, piece of junk, yep. I found it lying around, so I wasn't going to throw it away. I don't suppose that junk would happen to be a filter for that machine. What? I like the idea that like this entire water treatment center that like treats all the water in the in reborn city it's like you can just you, you can just change it out like a like a dryer filter pshaw you're crazy sean isn't z crazy there's no way i just happened to have taken this filter out of that machine or something uh huh all right so supposing just hypothetically right supposing you did take that filter from that machine why would you have done that just hypothetically right um, well, I suppose if that were something I would have done, it must have been because this filter was passing cleaning chemicals that would be unhealthy for the Pokemon in Azurine Lake. And so I would have replaced it with one that would make the water even purer. And in this hypothetical scenario, just where would you have gotten a filter like that? Why does the water need to be filtered? Where is this water coming from? Um, that's... And would it have been an illegal acquisition? Ahaha, ha, it's just hypothetical, so who really knows? Besides, there were a bunch of gulpin crown in that machine anyway. That's what I'm saying. This was actually a good thing. And just how would you know that if you hadn't actually opened it? Um, for your own sake, I hope you never had to testify in a court of law. Alright, listen. The truth is, I've known that some of the chemicals permitted by the existing filter would probably still be harmful. Unfortunately, a certain corporation has had their hands in the restoration financially, and their ambassador has been trying to pull us around for it. That person has significantly different values from many of us, and is only concerned about what can save them money. I don't think we know who that is. And regrettably, that same company is the one we would have needed to finance this filter. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to report that the disturbance down here was just a gaggle of gulpin, and nothing more. And I'm going to forget I ever saw you here. Please dispose of that filter somewhere. No one will find it. Please let us not cross paths like this again. Wait, so you're going to keep the filter she put in there? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> but what Z said about that corporate ambassador really concerns me. We should kill him. No, I won't let Reborn rot again. Hmm, I know. Let's sneak into the Grand Hall and find that corporate office. Then we can put an end to their dark grasp in the city once and for all. Is he? Fuck is she? Devoncore? Oh. 
I was running around randomly trying to find uh, Sandy. Uh, I couldn't find her in the Grand Hall, but I wandered in here, and this is accessible now. There used to be a staircase right here, which blocked this. Steelixite. Oh, neat. So just to be clear, that's like in the basement here. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, I looked around in the Grand Hall in the main area, and I couldn't find her, but we can go down here now, and we've never actually been here before. Victoria's here, which is kind of neat. Oh, Sean, did they let you in? Not that that's a problem. Frankly, I could use the company. This desk work is completely mind-numbing. I'm used to being out there and moving my body. All this computer stuff is such a drag. How can anyone just sit here all day? Ah, I can relate. Also, I just noticed that she has uh, six cups of coffee on her desk. But ugh, the paperwork never ceases. I can't believe Victoria got the bad ending. Uh, maybe she is in here after all. Seems like there's a lot of different rooms we can go to. This place is huge, actually. What is this? Is this a sign here? Legal office? There's a lot here. Oh, we're looking for like a corporate office. Starter Pokemon storage? I don't want to fuck with that right now. <laughs> I think we're looking for some kind of corporate office. Trainer data center? There's a lot going on here. I would like to explore more fully in a different episode. But for now, I'd really just like to find Sandy K. <laughs> okay. I pressed A on the computer and this happened. Is this the Amethyst room? <laughs> Lopanite. This is the Amethyst room. The secret Amethyst room. Uh, yeah, I'll... All I know is that her favorite Pokemon is uh, Alolan Ninetales. We also saw her use it in that fight against, uh, uh, what's her faces? Uh, I can't think of anything right now. Lin's, uh, Hydreigon. We saw her use it there. Also, Lopanite, pretty cool. Uh, maybe in here? Inspector's office. Yes, yeah, so that must have been Amethyst's old office down there. Uh, I don't know what they plan on doing with all those Vulpixes and Ninetales now that she's gone. <laughs> I'm afraid to talk to anybody down here because I feel like I'm just going to start side quests that I don't want to do right this second. Corporate. We found her. Alright, you made it. I had to hide in a shipping crate to get through. How about you? Eh? They just let you in? Hmm, well, hiding in the shipping crate was pretty fun, so I'm not upset. Now, let's see what we can do. Just a bunch of legal policies here. Transaction records. All these papers are signed or addressed Ignosia Crodbury. Crodbury, that, that name is familiar. Isn't that the lady we fought in Lapis Ward? I guess that's the corporate ambassador? Well... Oh well. <laughs> From the sound of it, these pipes are full of running water. Let's break them for no reason. That's perfect. We'll just bash them in, flood the office, and destroy all the paperwork here. That should free up the city to do what's right instead of what the companies want. Does that sound like a great idea, or does that sound like a great idea? No! Alright, <laughs> why is our character agreeing with this? Let's have one for the money, two for Pokemon. Three to get ready, and four to get gone. Well, I think that about settles it. This city should be free from corporate tyranny to protect the Pokemon and environment now. Let's get out of here before anyone notices. This game teaches important lessons, I think. We should flood the corporations. Also, Adrian told us to keep an eye on her, and we just literally just watched her just uh, commit a felony. So, hypothetically speaking, all that corporate paperwork is gone, and that's not a hypothetical. I feel like Adrian should be more mad with us at this point. You can thank us later. Please leave. Yep, sure thing. Thanks for your help, Sean. You really gave me the confidence to make things happen. 
I think I should chill out for a little bit before I actually get arrested, but why don't you take this? Okay, I'll take a Z-Crystal for a Waterium Z. People always ask me why I use this even though I mostly train ground types. So I think it suits you better anyway. I'll see you around. What the fuck? <laughs> That's it? Alright, there's a book here. A record book lists names of reborn league leaders, past and present. Oh. Most of the names are familiar, but one is circled in red. Yuffie. Weird champ. Alright. Uh... <laughs> I guess that's it for today's episode. I was completely unaware of that side quest for Waterium Z. Can we talk to Adrian? Repairing that room is going to be an additional headache, but I must admit, I somewhat relish the thought of an elongated repair process will be a reason for me to ask the ambassador not to come in for some time. And it's true that there may be some binding documents destroyed in the process, but I am not about to admit that to that woman. <laughs> no, sir. Her heart's in the right place, but she is enough of a menace without me encouraging her. I am tired. <laughs> Next, I'm a Pokemon Reborn. Uh, probably more side quests, because there's just an endless amount of them. 